Okay, you may have seen this uh, identity before. This is like n choose three equal n choose r equals to n minus one choose r minus one plus n minus one choose r. This is actually um, how do we prove this identity? Actually, this is linked to the Fibonacci series. So, for example, this one, right? Every term after is the sum of these two terms before one plus two give me three. Two plus one give me three. And the next series is this number 1 plus 3 give me 4, 3 plus 3 give me 6, 3 plus 1 give me 4, and finally 1. So you can see that this is actually um, what? This is actually 3 choose 0, and this is um, 3 choose. This term here is 3 choose 1, and this is 4 choose 1. 4 choose 1. So you see. 4 choose 1 is actually equals to 3 choose 0 plus 3 choose 1. Does it fit this formula here? Yes, it does because n is 4, then n minus 1 is 3, and n minus 1 is 3. If r is 1, then r 1 minus 1 is 0, and r is 1. So it fits. So this is actually, this identity actually tells us about how the sub, all the terms in the Fibonacci series is actually derived okay so if you can continue the next 1 plus 4 5 10 10 5 and 1 so on and so forth this is the when the break power is 5 this is when the power is 4 this is when the power is 3 so on and so forth so how do we prove this no now we also know that if we want to prove algebraically so n choose r we know that it is equals to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial correct so what is n minus 1 over n minus 1 choose r minus 1 that would be now replacing all the n with n minus 1 okay and r with r minus 1 and this would be m minus 1 minus r minus 1. Correct? Oh, nopes. m minus 1. No, no. So r. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. So m minus 1 minus r minus 1. Factorial. Okay. So. What is it about? Let me see. Okay, so if that's the case, then uh, if we simplify this, we'll get m minus 1 factorial. I have r minus 1 factorial. And n minus 1 plus 1, so it becomes m minus r factorial. So, but we know that eventually when we add both up, will get the denominator like this correct so therefore we want to change the denominator here to this before we add to the m minus 1 choose r okay so what we do is I'll try to change r minus 1 factorial to r factorial so one thing we know about uh, r, r minus 1 factorial equals to let's say if I multiply r to it I'll get r factorial so my r minus 1 factorial is just r factorial over r, correct? So therefore, this part can be r factorial over r. That means this r minus 1 factorial is r factorial over r. And what is my m minus r factorial? m minus r factorial is here, the same thing that we have here. So I will just keep it as it is, correct? And then top will be still my m minus one factorial. So if we switch this around, if we switch this, this r would go top because you divide something. Divide is just the the bottom. We just go up, correct? And then we have the bottom similar to this now. So we want to keep it at that. So now we proceed to the second term. M minus one choose r. And we will have m minus 1 factorial on top. And bottom will be r factorial 
and this will be n minus 1 minus r so n minus 1 replace n replace with n minus 1 and r is still r so n minus 1 minus r factorial so now if we want to keep the r factorial the same as this r factorial so i want to leave it untouched but what is this this one if we switch it around it is just minus r minus r minus 1 and so this means that this is actually what is m minus r minus 1 m minus r minus 1 factorial let's say if we multiply by the this is one term less than so let's say if we multiply by m minus r remember this is actually one one term before m minus r right so this is m minus r factorial correct so let's say if i want to change it to m uh m minus r factorial i need to from here i come to this equation m minus r minus 1 factorial equals to m minus r factorial divided by m minus r so this would be r factorial times m minus r factorial over m minus r okay over m minus 1 factorial here so let's say if this m minus r i bring it up right so i have n minus r times m minus 1 factorial over r factorial over m minus r factorial so now when we add try to add this up together so so when we add these two together what do we get so m minus 1 choose r plus m minus 1 r minus 1 which is essentially what we have over here is the same thing here so now we add these two result out they have the same denominator so i have r m minus 1 factorial plus m minus r times m minus 1 factorial over r factorial m minus r factorial this is just the common denominator of these two so now they have the same uh, common factor so if I factorize out, I will just get r plus n minus r, which will give me r. So here, that means if I when I when I factorize out, then this would this would be this would be r plus m minus r over times m minus one factorial. So this will be r factorial times m minus r factorial, and then here these two will cancel. And so I will have n times m minus 1 factorial and r factorial times m minus r factorial. n times m minus 1 factorial is just my m factorial, isn't it? So n times m minus 1 factorial is just my m factorial. So that means I would get back the same result as this. Therefore, I have proof. I have proved this. Okay? So because n times m minus 1 factorial is my n factorial so this is actually the same thing as this so with that i end the proof thank you